But I like sitting by these strings. They're relaxing. You know I like to draw too, so I thought I'd combine the two. I painted this picture a couple weeks ago and I'll show you how I did it in this video. I hope you enjoy watching and learn something. I know I did. Even about making videos. So this is where I set up and I'm going to paint on this tripod table and mount this action camera on those two pipes that you saw going over the top. I used my phone to do this thumbnail sketch to get the darks and light values correct. And then I just start sketching on this uh, watercolor canvas pad I got from Hobby Lobby. I like it because it doesn't buckle and it's less absorbent. So the colors kind of sit on top. The first part it sits on top a little bit too much. But you'll see it. It blends in pretty good. And it allows me to lift off the colors as needed. Anyway, I start getting in the darks here and it really is a beautiful place and I just enjoyed sitting here and, and sketching. And you can see that I'm sketching as I'm watching the water. And I put in these greens and try to leave a light spot where that bright tree is and, and get it darker around the edges of the trees and, and back in the woods there. It's fun to just kind of dab around and get some textures with a little bird and use different colors. I like using pencils because I don't really have to mix anywhere except for on the canvas and it's fun to just test. So here I'm just putting some warm colors to bring the foreground forward. Cool colors in the back and warm colors in the front and that water has a, some brown in it but I lift off uh, with a paper towel the whites. After it dries it, it gets whiter anyway. And you can see I just keep adding things and textures um, to get more of a feel of the, of the place. And I do a lot of dabbing and part of that is just because it's just fun to sit and, and do this and practice and and just get a feel for how to paint a scene. This color is coming from pencil and as you wet it, it gets a little darker. And then you put more pencil down and then wet it again. Here I'm just adding darks for the trees and trying to get more texture. And you want to keep that light of the tree white, so I tried erasing it there. And then as you can see, as I wet that pencil, it just gets darker. And I'm moving it back and forth, just trying to get texture of rocks and water and, and shrubbery. It's a lot of fun and it's a really great place and just experimenting with with how to do this was was quite fun and seeing the birds and hearing different things was just made for a really nice place the light came out and made it so the canvas was a little bright but i worked with it and i kept going there's a little rock in the screen that i'm trying to accentuate now I'm nearing the end of the time here. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is finish this up at home. And this is a really good um, capture of the place. And I can take pictures and, and go home and like I am here and, and finish it off. Here I'm not using water-soluble pencils, though. I'm using Prismacolors. And I'm doing this because it's a bit more saturated and... Here I'm erasing some of the, the water highlights and brushing off the erase stuff. But I can make things darker and then use the eraser and make things lighter. Here I'm blending, since I can't use water to blend, I'm blending with a rubber tipped um, paint mover, I think is what it's called. And it was kind of fun to just kind of work through this.
And here's the final image in a little bit different light. It's a fun day and it's fun to do. Hope you enjoyed it. Yay, you made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. To explore and discover more with me, click on this video and watch it too. Or subscribe to see new ones. No really, click now. It's over. I'm leaving. Bye.